Hello, today's tutorial will be making a simple sword rig. Go into your content browser and double click large sword. Select your sword, then go into deform, nonlinear, then click squash. If you select the curves, then press T, points will appear in which you can deform the sword. But we're not going to use that. So let's bring the sword and curve to ground level. This doesn't need to be perfect, so just bring it as close as you can. Now make the high bound to 2 and the low bound to minus 2. As you can see, the entire sword is now being squashed, but we want to put limitations on it. So go to curves and make a control curve. Bring the curve to the tip of the sword. It does not have to be perfect. Don't forget to delete history and freeze transformations on your curve. Naming is very important in rigging, so name this curve Sword Squash Control. Now go into animation, press key, then set driven key, and then press set. First, load sword squash control into driver. Then click squash in the attribute editor, press select, and load as driven. Select translate Y and factor, and press key. Select control, then go to the channel box, go to translate Y, and change that to 77. Change factor to 0 0.5. And press key. You can see the sword stopping where we placed the limit. Now we'll do the same in the opposite direction. But let's make translate Y minus 52 this time. Set the factor to minus 0.5 and press key. The sword now stops at the limits, but oh no, the curve goes past the limits, so let's fix that. Go into sword squash control, go into limit information, click translate. Right now, we'll only do translate Y, so set your max to 77 and your min to minus 52. Now you can see that both your sword and control stop at the limits. Now let's add some bend, so go back into rigging, click deform, nonlinear, and then click bend. Using the same process, we'll make the low bound minus 2 and the high bound 2. Set the bend handle to ground level. Let's go back into animation. Then click key, set driven key, and then set. Set sword squash control as driver and bend as driven. Now select translate X and curvature and press key.
Let's translate x to 60 and curvature to 25. Press key and do the opposite side. Make translate x minus 60 and curvature minus 25. Set the limits for your control, the minimum at minus 60 and the maximum at 60. Let's repeat this process one more time. Go back into rigging, click deform, nonlinear, and bend. This time, rotate the bend handle 90 degrees. Set the low bound to minus 2 and the high bound to 2. Move the handle to ground level. Go back into animation, click key, set driven key, and set. Set sword squash control as driver and bend to driven. Select translate Z and curvature. Press key. Now do the same process as you did before but on translate Z. What a nice bendy sword. But oh no, your rig and your sword aren't attached if you move it. So let's make a world control. Make a curve at ground level, and then delete history and freeze transformations. Name it to sword underscore world control. Parent sword squash control to sword world control. Group all the handles and name it Sword Rig Group. Then group your controls and label it Sword Control Group. Group your sword and label it Sword Geo Group. Go back to rigging. Select your sword world control, then select sword rig group. Then you're going to go to constraint, click parent, and make sure your parent settings are the same as mine on the screen. Then select sword world control again, and select sword geo group and parent. Now you can move your sword in the rig. Lastly, group all your groups together and name it Sword Rig. Congratulations, you finished the Sword Rig. You can always have some fun with the D forms and play around with that. Thank you for watching.